Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It's Saturday, oh, it's just now almost exactly noon. And today's adventure, I am going to Best Buy to get myself a new work phone. I have an iPhone 8 Plus that pretty much has no battery life. If I don't keep it plugged in at all times, or it, let's say I plug it in, or I unplug it, have it in the car, turn on the Waze app, and I drive to three ships, by the time I'm there, it's at least half depleted, and I, I can't get two hours with, with battery life. So I think it's uh, kind of gotten to the end of its life, so it's time to replace it. So that's what I'm gonna go do today. So yeah, it's pretty awful out. It isn't pouring down rain right now, but it has been since last night, and the temperature is just slowly, slowly dropping. We're at about 44 degrees right now. So it, uh, yeah, it's not nice. So what better thing to do than to go to Best Buy? So let's go to Best Buy and get a new phone. Okay, strike one. They told me that they cannot switch the phone over without having the account holder's social security number and, and permission from the corporate office. So I don't get it because my boss told me, oh yeah, just go to Best Buy. I just bought a phone and they switched it right over for me. So I don't understand why he was able to do that and I'm not because it's not like he has the account holder social security number or any of that shit. So we're gonna try Avenue 2. And that's, she said, you can go to the Apple store and just pay full price for the phone and then they'll just switch the SIM over. But you can't do that here. And I was like, okay. So I guess I'm on my way to the Apple store. Hopefully the Apple store is open again and I don't have to, you know, like make an appointment and do everything online and all that shit. If that's the case, then I'm just gonna go to the corporate website where you pay full price for a phone and do it that way. Because I, you know, despite the fact that it's Saturday and I'm not really doing all that much, it is shitty out and I don't feel like driving all over Timbuktu being told I can't do shit when somebody told me I could. So, all right, like I said, strike one, let's go to the Apple store. All right, so that was astonishingly painless. I walked in, they were really busy, uh, asked me what I wanted and I waited less than five minutes. The girl came out. They brought her this 2013 iPhone Pro Max with 256 gigs of memory. And I ended up buying a clear MagSafe case and a screen protector, but they didn't have one that they would install there. So I've got that and I'll take it home and do it. But I was worried that it was, you know, because it was a work account, it wasn't gonna work. And she said, nope, just pop the SIM out of the old one, put it in the new one did that then it came up to set up a new phone she hovered it over the little swirly swarmy thing and i shit you not in less than probably two minutes it automatically put everything from the old phone on here i didn't have to go to the app store and download apps and do all kinds of shit. it has all my texts my phone calls my work stuff, all I had to do was like re-log into Outlook and shit like that. I mean, it put everything on here. I mean, it, there, even even my, uh, well, you can't really see it, but even my background screen, like everything was on there and it was done in less than two minutes. I, I am astounded at how far technology has come because in the past, you know, you used to have to, you know, had to have a cable or you had to back it up to your computer. You know, I did a, an iCloud backup this morning of it just in case. And I took like screenshots of each of the screens as I swiped through it just to see what it was. There's a smudge on my freaking thing here. And uh, like, I didn't have to do any of that. I, have to, I mean, it literally did it all on its own in less than two minutes. So done. I, I can't believe how fast that was. Thanks, Nancy. And that's it. Now I apparently have to go pick a package up for her and I'm probably gonna go, yeah, I mean, it's only a little bit after one, I'll go get us bean. And then I'm gonna get the hell out of this nasty weather because now it is pissing rain again and it just continues where we at now. Now it's down to 43, so temperature's still dropping. So that's it. Let's go get this other shit done and get back home and finish things up. <laughs> bean has been gotten and they had almond milk. So that's always a plus. Yeah, there you have it. It's completely turned to snow now. It's incredibly windy. It's dropped at least 12 degrees. 
Wah. Okay, kids, back home, and I have everything now set up. So what I've got is my iPhone 12 Pro Max, which is my personal phone. The bulk of what I do is on this. Then I have my iPhone 13 Pro Max, which I just got, which is for work. And I also do a bunch of stuff on it as well. So for the past, what, eight years, going on eight years since I've worked for this company, I've had two phones. I have my personal phone always set up for personal things and my work phone set up for work things. I tend to not use any of my work devices for any personal stuff. I don't surf the, the web. I don't look things up. I don't text people other than work related so that they're not sending me messed up shit to my work phone and all that kind of stuff. Because basically when it goes to work, they have control over this phone. Do they ever look at it? Do they ever do anything with it? Who knows? Uh, I know that, that when I first started, people used to like do all kinds of messed up shit on their, on their devices. I mean, from watching porn to sending, you know, like gross, inappropriate jokes, things like that. And I, I was always shocked that they would do that. And they're like, no one's gonna look, no one gives a shit. But I'm thinking to myself, but they could. All they have to do is look at one of your freaking things and you could get fired for that. So I've always been very adamant about keeping work and personal separate, uh, especially when it comes to these particular devices, the phones. When I talk to like, you know, my uh, compatriot JT, I don't talk to him on my personal phone. I talk to him on the company phone. You know, if we text each other, it's it's something work related. If I send an email or I do anything through this, it's always work related, with the exception of again when I'm on the road and I'm looking uh, or I'm at dinner or lunch or whatever, I always open up the the work phone and I watch Netflix or Hulu or something like that. Like I said, I'm always watching a cartoon. So usually, you know, like part of my. Uh, my Instagram feed, my personal Instagram feed, I did a lot of what I call dinner theater. So when I was on the road and I went to dinner, I would take a picture of the phone open to a paused moment in Archer along with my food. And I just always called it dinner theater. In fact, one of my friends texted me and she says, dude, is the only thing you ever watch Archer? And I was like, yeah, pretty much, especially when I'm on the road. It just cracks me up and it, and it winds me down and I get a laugh after driving around and being stressed all day. So that's why I have things set up the way that I have them set up. Now, I purchased all of the phones for work when I got my first one, which was the, again, the Galaxy Note 2. I got it at a massively discounted price and that's what they used to do then. But since we were bought out, um, that they stopped doing that. So when I replaced the Galaxy Note 2 with the iPhone 8 Plus, I had still gotten a massive discount and then it has been years since I've replaced that phone up until now, I had to pay for this phone out of my pocket. So if I were to be fired or I quit, they don't get this phone. The only thing that they ask for is the SIM card back. And then I would keep this phone and, and I would actually turn it on you know, as a, as a second phone, because at this point now, I need two phones. I don't need two phones, but I'm so used to using two phones, and it's nice because my personal phone's on Verizon and my work phone is on AT&T, so almost anywhere I go, I have coverage from one or the other. I have one super dead spot that I've encountered in, in the entire eight years where absolutely nothing works. And again, I've mentioned it before, I think that's a government black site where they have UFOs and aliens. So they block all signals there. All right, so that was pretty much my adventure for today. I had every intention of going to Best Buy like my boss had suggested and having them do it and they wouldn't do it. Said they couldn't do it. So I was expecting as much at Apple and thankfully I did not have that happen. It was, it was so fast that, that I'm still staggered by how quickly the, the whole thing happened. I mean, I literally, I think I waited longer 
to see somebody because they were so busy. And even then it was only five minutes. And you know, when we came over and started going through the transaction, I paid for the phone, I pulled everything out, I switched the SIMs, we did the little, you know, activating one phone with the other, and two minutes later it was done. Since I've been home, I have gone through, because I did have a, a bunch of them not, a bunch of the apps that is, uh, not update, and I had to just stop them all, and when I restarted them, boom, they were done. I'm sure, as with any other time, although it downloaded the stuff, I'll probably have to re-log in to all the apps that I use, and I'm actually gonna spend some time after this video getting rid of probably 75% of the icons for the programs that are on that phone that I don't use. Because again, I just do what I do, and that's phone, text, email, Hulu, Netflix, and a couple other programs, you know, I just don't need a lot of programs on there. That's what's accumulated over the years. So you're gonna look at that screenshot, you're gonna think, man, he's got a lot of weird shit on there. I don't use most of it, so I'll get rid of it. But okay, so that was my adventure for today, uh, getting a new phone for work. So I am all set now. Again, thanks, Nancy. And that's pretty much it. That was my day. It uh, actually had converted completely to snow and it was really like whipping around out there. It's not snowing or raining at the at the, like this very moment, other than like a, an occasional flake flies by. It's still windy and the temperature continues to drop. Boo. So hopefully that won't last long, and I don't think it's supposed to. I think it's actually supposed to get pretty warm next week and then it's going to consistently be up in the 60s. So I can live with that. But this 30s and 20s shit, no way. So that's all I've got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.